What a beauty. And I think I've officially lost it now. I've, you know, got to the stage where, uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's getting out of hand. But you know what? I don't care because I'm having a good time. Um... I've got so much retro tech to show you, and I showed you some Atari stuff last time, and this is the next one in line. This is an old portable black and white set. Um, my guess is from the 70s, uh, early 70s or something like that. Not 100% sure, but I asked my dad and he thinks about early 70s as well. It's a black and white set absolutely wonderful. Um, you've got your on and off control here and it's obviously got your volume in it and there's your little speaker there. Uh, you've got your brightness and your contrast controls here which are really nice and then this is your tuning dial. Obviously there's no channel changes on this TV. You've got to tune into your channel whenever you want to watch a specific channel which is absolutely legendary. Um, so I, I really like this little unit. Um, it's black and white and whatnot, and obviously I'm not going to be using it as any kind of mainstream telly or whatever, but it's just fun to have a little play around with. And um, yeah, what I'm going to try and do now is um, hook a Digibox up to it, because unfortunately the analog signal has been turned off around here. It's very, very annoying and it, you know, it really, really irritates me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, try and plug my Digibox into it and see what happens. So I'm going to wire it all up now and I'll be back with you in a minute. So here is my digibox, aerial cable going up to the telly, plugged in back here, and here's the aerial turned up to max power for my digibox, and let's uh, crank this sucker on. There she is. Alright, let's tune. Gotta tune into the Digibox, man. So here is the image directly from the Digibox on uh, my projector screen, as you can see. Um, I'm watching the CBBC channel because I'm cool like that. Uh, not really. But we have the little um, telly down here. And we've got a picture. We've got no sound. It's not tuned in well enough for sound. But... If I just give it a bit of a twiddle around here, you can see it's sort of this area here where we're picking up the signal. So this tally's working nice. Um, uh, I've adjusted the horizontal hold on the back of it as well. Just to try and get it a little bit more looking, you know. But that's the kind of thing that you can see. Now, um, I'm not sure why it's not working directly. I think it's something to do with this being a digital signal or something like that. So what I'm actually going to do, and I just thought of this a minute ago, is I'm going to try it with a videotape and uh, see what happens there. So I'll be back in a minute after I um, try this with a videotape. Alright guys, I'm totally retro geeking out here. I really am. The projector is off. My sound Dubri unit, whatever the hell it's called, is off. And I'm going to hit play on that video player, and you guys are going to see something so awesome. This is the Earth, our planet, our home. It sails serenely through the vast emptiness of space. Through the silent nothingness between the stars. But how silent is it? Silent to our ears, perhaps. But if we had ears that could hear the sound of radio waves, then the space between the stars would be far from silent. For all the radio messages in all the worlds are buzzing about in space, waiting to be picked up by the right sort of equipment. There. That, uh, that thing. <laughs> listen, listen to the noise it's making. Now then, guys, for those of you who are not familiar, this is the Clangers. If you were alive in the 70s, I believe 70s anyway, you know all about this. It is in colour, 
but obviously it's a black and white set. This is a, a newish tape, it's sort of like a, a a fairly new tape of the Clangers. Um, but yeah, my dad, I called my dad up here a minute ago, and he was just, this was memory lane, big style for him, because he said he used to sit when he was five years old, watching this in his grandmother's house, on a little black and white set like this. That thing is calling it. Watching the Clangers. And Clangers is part of my childhood as well, guys. I remember when, God knows what channel it was on. It was before we got digital. So, you know, I'm talking when I was probably about four years old, five years old. I used to get up early in the morning. When would that have been in 98, 99? I used to get up early in the morning at about six o'clock. Ooh, here's the rocket. <laughs> at about six o'clock in the morning, I remember, or even as early as half past five, they used to show the clangers. Something like that, I used to get up super early to watch it. So, as well as being extremely interesting um, for me, this video has also taught me something. Um, just because the Digibox has the capability of outputting something, you know, like this, this is your standard aerial connection, just because I can plug it in doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work. I believe it's something to do with digital signals, but this is coming straight from VHS and it is working awesome. Absolutely amazing. So guys, that has been um, a video about this TV that I've picked up. No idea what I'm going to do with it, but it is a very, very cool bit of kit. So, thanks very much for watching everyone, and I hope to see you in the next video, which will probably be involving retro technology again. Thanks guys.